Greetings and salutations, you sexy bastards, and welcome to Game of Thrones at a Glance, the at a glance video for the 2015 Telltale Games hit, Game of Thrones. That's right, it's based on the HBO series that is taking the world by storm, and my gosh, what a game. Let's talk about how we feel about Game of Thrones. On the plus side, the storyline is phenomenal. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, this is essentially canonic. The author set up this setup so that you could play this game as if you are part of the story of Game of Thrones. You don't play as a TV character, but you do interact with the TV characters. So it's canonical. For people who do not know Game of Thrones, it is very easy to pick up and play because you're being introduced to new characters, just like any game. So for that by itself, the storyline and the gameplay and the whole setup, it can appeal to a very wide audience. The other positive thing is you get to direct parts of the story. Like any tell, tell game, you are the director, effectively. And it really can get good. The, the writing is phenomenal. You're up against a lot of adversaries. And it's just very much what the author had in mind, I think. And it looks exactly like... You're watching the show on HBO. I literally watched an episode of Game of Thrones after playing Game of Thrones, and the scene from the wall was letter perfect. It was phenomenal. So that's two things, storyline and graphics. Great. Gameplay is very easy to deal with. You don't have to be a video game expert or know a lot of combinations in order to play successfully. And if you fail, you just go back to the part where your last save point was, and you're lock and load again. So there are a lot of things that are good about that. Now, on the negative side, like all Telltale game hits, your storyline control seems like it's unlimited, but it really is limited. There are only a few real key decisions, five per episode, and there are six episodes. Five real key decisions, but only some of them have an impact, and it, I'm not going to spoil those for you. You really are going to enjoy playing as the Forrester clan and Garrett Forrester, their squire. It's Garrett, uh, uh, Garrett their force. Nah, Garrett's just another guy. Never mind, you'll get it when you play. The point is this. You're going to love this game. I mean, this is sort of like Dungeons & Dragons meets Queen Elizabeth. But ultimately, it's just a really good self-contained story with a few negatives there. You're, you're limited on your storyline choices, and it'll seem like all is lost. There are a lot of all is lost moment, moments pushed through. You'll always feel like you could have done better. But... My advice is play it through at least once and possibly twice, and you'll get a really good experience. So what is my grade for Game of Thrones? Because of the limited storyline divergence, I give it an A-. minus. So it's a strong recommend to buy, especially at the price point. I think I saw it up for $10 on the, PS, the PlayStation Store, and you can get it on uh, iOS and also on the Steam Player as well. So definitely get it. It's Game of Thrones, and you will like it. For all of us here at Gaming the Glances, this is Scott Island, the real Scott Shady, signing off for now. We'll be back with a new video before you know it.